my beautiful people so today I wanted to do a different type of video more of like a project type video so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be depotting some makeup and putting it in this palette right here and this is the end result what it looks like and if you guys want to see how I got there and how I got this palette to be organized just keep on watching and the idea that it came to me to get all my powders in one is first of all it takes a lot of time in the morning to open up every single container and there's a lot of containers in the morning because you know you have your bronzer and your blush and highlight and powder and so that's a lot of time every single day or whenever you're doing makeup to open every single container so I kind of got inspired by this je ne sais quoi palette by it cosmetics because this is a palette that has your translucent setting powder it has your blush a highlight and a bronzer so this palette alone saved me a lot of time like in my makeup application every day and so I figured like why not put some of my favorite products and just make a palette of my own and kind of you know add a foundation powder in here a contour powder so that's actually that's exactly what I decided to do so I bought an extra Z palette and I got inspired and I put you know my translucent setting powder I put my foundation in here I put like my my powder foundation and then I also put two contour shades a darker and a lighter and then I put all my favorite blushes right here and then I put one highlight one of my favorite highlights because usually my highlighters are in really pretty packaging so I didn't want to disrupt them and this is one of my favorite highlighters from Becca so I just wanted to add it in here and I usually typically don't use a lot of highlighters and highlighting in general anyway so I figured if one is plenty and if I need any extra I have a little bit of space to add one here or if I run out of any other ones then I can just add it on because these are all magnetic and so this is an awesome little project also I wanted to mention how do you guys like my super dark eyeshadow I got inspired and and just testing out some makeup and some techniques if you guys like this look or would like me to do like a full tutorial please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys are interested and besides that just go ahead and keep on watching so this is the little setup I have created um, with everything that I'm going to be needing in order to fill in the Z palette with some contour shades that I already have from Makeup Geek and so I figured you know I would put all my other necessities and favorite products in here this is the little setup I have I actually got a couple things ready just in case I would need them and if the actual you know packaging would be harder to deep hot than usual so I have like little tweezers a little like um, metal dental tool that might be helpful to lift the product out I have a thin knife I also have that I warmed up as hair straightener because I know that a lot of people instead of you know using like heat and a lighter use just like a straightening tool these are some of my products so I have my Becca favorite highlighter and blush in here um, I have my Dandelion blush. I have my Hula Benefit bronzer, which is one of my favorites. I have this super awesome Wet n Wild um, blush that's in the shade um, pearlescent pink. I absolutely love this like peachy shade. I have a Lorac, more of like a berry mauve blush. I have my foundation and like the powder form. And so I'm gonna try and fill in this palette with all these products so let's get started first i'm gonna see if i can just start with this little wet and wild um blush because i feel like this might be a little easier to take out um i don't know if there's a is that a little hole do you guys see this like some of these plastic containers and packaging have these little holes where you can just pop the eyeshadow up through the little holes that are in here but I don't think that's the case for this let me try and heat it up a little bit and what I'm gonna do I have my straightener in here and I'm just gonna put it on top like this so it's not actually like touching the other side I don't know if you guys can see this and I'm just gonna like hold it up here just so the glue on the bottom of the pan kind of melts I don't want it to get too hot because then I feel like the plastic will melt onto my straightener so let's see if 
Nah, that didn't really do anything. Let me see if I can lift it out with the knife. Can you guys see okay? And the thing is, I don't want... The last thing I want to do is ruin the actual pan of these. I'm going to try and just lift it from the corner maybe. Like shove this all the way in. Oh, oh, I can hear it. Uh, oh, I got it. This wasn't that bad. This one was pretty easy, actually. Okay, awesome. Now, there is a little bit of glue on here. But let's see if this is actually magnetic or not. Because I'm not sure if these, like, wet and wild pans are going to be magnetic. No, they're not magnetic. They're not sticking. So what I'm going to do is um, just wipe it on the little paper towel just so the stickiness of the glue goes away a little bit and if there's any powder that it's gonna get rubbed off and then I'm gonna take one of these I might just take two of these little square ones I don't know if that's gonna be enough though okay well we'll see I'm gonna take one and place it on this part and then just hold it on and then I'm gonna take another one and just paste it on the other side of it and let's see if that's gonna be enough like hold for this little pan awesome all right do you guys see that it's not falling out mission accomplished one down a few more to go I don't know which one's gonna be easier okay yeah see they're all kind of hard but this one has a mirror on it this Maybelline one. So I don't know if I can... Can I heat it up with the mirror? Let's try. Oh, I can hear it. Hold on, hold on. See, there's a little, like, space right here. And I don't really don't want to, like, crack these or anything. Oh, I can hear it. Mmm. Okay, maybe if I just wiggle it. Oh, oh, I got it. I almost got it. I almost had it that time. Okay. Oh my gosh, can you guys see the glue? This one is sticky too, so I'm just going to rub it on here. Just so it gets a little bit of the lint from the paper towel onto it, and it becomes less sticky. Another thing that's good to do is just um, take a little bit of like translucent powder or setting powder, and then just rub it onto it. Let me go grab it, actually. Okay, so I'm back. I brought a little bit of powder that I can just take. This is like the next translucent powder. I actually really like this. See, and now it's not sticky anymore. Okay, awesome. I actually might depot this one as well, um, just to have like a full set. And I brought this one too, but I think because I really like this, sh this formula of Japanese setting powder, but I feel like the packaging is so pretty, I might not actually depot that one. So... Let me move the little empty packages out of the way. So now that it's not sticky, let's see if it's actually... Maybelline pans are magnetic and they are sticking to it. So that's always awesome because it saves me an extra step to, you know, put the little magnets on there. Okay, so next, let's try this. Actually, let's do the Hula Benefit. These are very unique packaging. And so I feel like I had a hate love-hate relationship with these because in the beginning this is such a hassle to kind of open the box like this and then it has this like big old thick border around it but after a while I actually got used to it and I actually like it and I I figured the purpose of this whole little like cardboard box is when you like dip your brush in there and you have a lot of fallout like the fallout doesn't go anywhere so it stays in there so I guess it saves a little bit of product so that's, that was actually like a cool concept. Okay, so I have it open like this. And now what? Um, can I actually lift this? Uh, see, that's why I have the paper towel here because this might get a little messy. Dang, the glue must be really strong on this one. Okay, can I actually just... I feel like I could just rip it. Oh, oh my gosh, I just ripped it up. Okay. So this wasn't too bad. 
Let me try to scrape this little thing off. Oh, this came out pretty nicely. Okay. So, now that I have my bronzer, let's see if that's magnetic. Oh, Benefit products are magnetic too, so that's awesome. Okay, so I have my bronzer in the corner. Let's do, this is one of my favorite blushes from Benefit. These are pretty pricey, but I mean, the bronzer and this is like exceptional. I haven't been able to find anything like this because it doesn't seem like anything special in the pan, but it's like this cross between like a light pink with like a tint of peach. So I really like this one. I almost don't want to ruin the packaging because it's so cute, but you know what? I want to have all my favorites like in one place so I can just save a lot of time in the morning. So I'm just going to rip this one open as well. And it's cool because it does have this like little tiny mirror in here, even though it's not really, I don't know if it's a real mirror. Now let's try to do the same thing and kind of just lift it. Let's see if that will. Ooh, this one was easy. This one just ripped right open. Okay, so now let me just take this off. I'll just put them in here for now and then organize them probably a bit later. Okay, next one is this Lorac Pro. And I love this shade because I can use this as eyeshadow in my, like, transition. If I'm doing, like, a really dark, smoky eye. And it's a great blush for, like, the winter time. Oh my goodness, this one just jumped right at me. So let me, let me kind of hold it. I don't want to like place it on there. Actually, let me use my tweezers. And I'm going to place it on the little right in between so it can get warm on the bottom. So then I can hopefully just pop it open. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I almost scratched the whole eyeshadow or the whole blush. Yeesh. Okay, it wants to come out. Oh, do you guys hear the glue? Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, this one is totally sticky, so I'm just going to rub it. Still sticky, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this powder again. Just to kind of... And I'm assuming this is magnetic, because... Usually if the pans aren't magnetic and you put powder on it, these little magnets aren't going to stick on them very well. So make I should have made sure that it's actually magnetic first. Yeah, it is. I figured Lorac products were, but if you're not sure, then make sure you check before you put powder. Did I do this one too? I feel like I should because I do use, I really like this setting powder from NYX. It's actually really nice. Okay. And sometimes if there's a sticker on here, sometimes underneath the sticker there's a little hole where you can punch it through. But I don't see it on here, so I'm just going to warm it up again. I'm going to try and move it like this side to side for it to get warmer quicker. Okay, it seems pretty hot on the bottom, so let's see if that did anything. I feel like this might be actually a little too thick. Let me try if this side is any thinner. It's lifting, but it's actually deforming the metal plate a little bit. Ooh! Oh my gosh, this came out so much nicer with the knife. Oh my gosh, I should have tried this from the beginning. Maybe the other ones would have came out easier with the knife too, but I was afraid it'd be too thick. Okay! Ooh, this is kind of hot. Okay, well, let me rub it to take away the stickiness on the glue. So, next products aren't magnetic. So, good thing I didn't powder it, even though this one isn't sticky much. So, I can apply the little magnet on it. So, now I'm just going to pop it in here. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to take these contours from Makeup Geek out. So I have this, this, then I use that. Then let me do this right here. See if this fits. Ooh, perfect. And then I'll have this big one right here. 
So I can go maybe like in a circle. Um, I actually have this one right here, which, oh my gosh, I love this blush. This is like my all-time favorite high-end blush. It's the one Flower Child and Champagne Pop. This is my favorite highlight. Oh, so gorgeous because it has more of like a champagne-y gold. Okay. So these two seem like they have little holes. Do you guys see that right here? But the glue is still holding them in. Do you guys see the holes right here? But the glue is still holding them in. So I'm going to just take this and put it on here. I really want this to be like a to-go palette. So I can just take it on the go and I have all the products in one. Or open just one thing in the morning when I get ready. So it can totally just speed up the process. Because opening up all these containers every single day, it gets kind of repetitive and annoying at times. And it's just a waste of time, you know? I wonder if someone would, like, calculate the amount of time it takes someone to open up every single packaging or, like, box of product in the morning when they're getting ready. How much time per, like, week or per year that would take. I wonder. <laughs> That'd be a funny little experiment to do. But some of the packaging for the makeup is pretty gorgeous. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is too thick, maybe, to go all the way in. But I can totally feel it move. So let me try the knife again. Yeah, the knife is a little too thick. Mm, yeah, it's too thick. I'm going to ruin the shadow if I keep going like that. Oh, it sucks because I can feel them move a little. What if I do both? What if I... Yeah, see, it's like lifted. So let me do this. And then maybe with the knife. Oh, yes! Awesome! Add a little bit of glue. Do you guys see that? Awesome. So I have one down. Okay, I got it. And then I'll take a knife. And then just try to pop it right out. Yay! Awesome possum. I actually want to get like the full size of these because these are just halves. But I've had these for the longest and they last so long. I barely have an indent in this one and I've had this for me oh, well over like four months maybe. And I'm assuming these are magnetic so let's see. Yep, these are magnetic so I can even powder them if the stickiness doesn't go away. Let me actually do that and take a little bit of powder. Just powder it and then wipe it again. I don't know. I feel like this is going to make my daily makeup routine so much quicker. I love it. Okay. Okay. So this one goes there. This one I'm going to put right here. Ooh. I don't know why, but this one's like less magnetic for some reason. So weird. I don't think the highlighter is magnetic, you guys. What's going on? Do you guys see that? Yeah, and the other one is for sure magnetic. Like, it's not just the residue of the glue. It's actually, like, sticking. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Now, I powdered this one because I thought it was magnetic because the other one was magnetic. And now I don't know if this one's going to stick. Okay. Well, let's try it. Okay. Well, good enough. How can I arrange this for it to be more effective? Let's see. See, like... The blush is totally, totally magnetic. Okay. Um, see, it messes me up with all the rounds and the square shapes. Let's see if this might save a little bit of space. I feel like I should add another highlighter in here, but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Okay, okay. I think that's as good as it gets. I might, might add something little right here, but that's it. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed my little depotting project. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And um, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I do all kinds of different beauty things. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, superlady246. And stay tuned. Do subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing like my January favorites this week probably tomorrow or the day after and then a q and a about me and beauty and any questions you guys might have so once again thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you guys have a great day bye Mwah.